So Ben Saudi, Switzerland is 100% owned by Ben Saudi, Lebanon, so there is nowhere to hide and nobody to blame except Ben Saudi, Lebanon. Samir Hanna had to resign from the board of directors and the entire Lebanese clique that was there, uh, that participated into this uh, aggravated money laundering scheme had to leave, they had to leave the bank and their persona non grata was the Swiss financial watchdog. Also, and this is their really important point, FINMA made it clear that uh, uh, safe for injecting over $20 million in the capital of Bank Audi Switzerland, uh, Bank Audi might see its banking license in Switzerland revoked. So Bank Audi now has to find $20 million to inject in its capital in Switzerland when it can't even uh, repay its depositors in Lebanon. So the question is, where is this going to come from? Uh, where is Bank Audi Lebanon going to find uh, 20 million dollars right now to inject in its capital to cover the risks that were spotted by FINMA, knowing that this injection should happen very soon given the deadline uh, that FINMA has given to Bank Audi. So it is worse than that. The four million dollars that you're referring to are not a fine. They are the proceeds of crime. That's the profit that Bank Audi made on that operation and laundering dirty money of Lebanese corrupt politicians. So FINMA just confiscated these assets. It's a big hit on the balance sheet of Bank Audi. That money had already been distributed to Bank Audi Lebanon and distributed to the shareholders of Bank Audi Lebanon. So it's $4 million that now need to be found by Bank Audi. And this is over and above uh, the 20 plus million dollars that need to be injected into the capital of Bank Audi. So this is a serious blow to the balance sheet of the bank.